Turning a couch cover into a gardening apron? Sounds like a cool idea. Celestial friends, I'm Echo the Saving Sorceress, and today I am sewing my own gardening apron out of an old couch cover. I feel like Maria Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. I am so pumped about this. I really love reusing old clothes and old things in general, and this couch cover was just lying around. I've already made a dress and a skirt out of it before, but I still have plenty of extra because, I mean, couch covers are huge. So I thought, why not tackle this apron? I'm gonna add loads of pockets. It's just gonna be covered in pockets because I mean, obviously I need a place to put all the rocks and knickknacks that I pick up on my walks and when I'm gardening. Plus, I want space to, you know, stick some tomatoes in there, a few basil leaves in here, and I gotta bring my phone with me so there's a pocket for that, you know. Just all the pockets, gotta have pockets. So currently when I go out to garden, my outfit is Maybe not the most attractive. I usually wear a very ancient and faded old fanny pack. My leggings have been modified and altered with extra panels because they don't even really fit me anymore. And I usually wear some sort of old beat up t-shirt with it to complete the ensemble. I think it's time for a change. I wanna make something cute and functional. Let's get started. So I don't know if other crafters can identify with this, but I have a lot of fabric and piles all around my house ready to be worked with. This is, I believe, the fabric I'm looking for. And in this drawer, I've got even more couch cover fabric. Now this stuff is a fabric that's not quite as pretty and bright as the other pieces, but I think they'll be perfect for the inside of pockets and the inner part of the large pocket holder where I will put all of my harvested veggies. After laying it out to see what I've got, it looks like I have enough fabric. Excellent. So I always find that it's best to draw a picture of what I want first so I don't make any mistakes or miss anything. So this is the picture I have of what I want the front of the apron to look like. It's got a little pocket there, three big harvest pockets here, a padded cell phone pocket so I can always listen to podcasts and music while I'm out gardening, a pocket for my keys, a pocket to hold a little towel so I can dry my hands, and some loops to hold tools as well. And so what about these buttons and these loops, you might ask? Well, that is going to be for a harvest bag that I won't be making this time, probably, but I will make in the future, I'll make another video about it, that this harvest bag is going to be extra big and extra washable, so I can use it for getting dirty potatoes out of the ground, for instance. And then I can just detach it when I don't need it so it doesn't get in the way. It's gonna be perfect. And this is what I think the back is going to look like. The two pockets on the side are shown here and then it should tie around with the belt. And I want the shoulder straps to sort of loop around so even if this gets untied, I don't have the apron falling off in the middle of my gardening. <laughs> and this is just the tie from the harvest bag. So yeah, that is my plan and I'm really excited about it. Got my glasses on to see all the details and I'm ready to make some magic. Okay, so I'm thinking of putting the most important pocket, the cell phone pocket, um, right here sort of as a belt buckle type of deal and it'll be padded out so that my phone will be nice and safe and I've got my little zipper here so I will just have it be zipped right in here I take this off of some other piece of clothing so 
you know, gotta put everything to good use. Also, yes, I know this is not a phone, but the calculator is a good stand-in for sort of a phone size, and I don't really want to hurt my phone potentially by working with it, so this is a good, it's a good option. I want to leave enough space up here so that I have plenty of seam allowance because there's going to be a lot of wonky things happening and I don't want to make any mistakes. When I actually get down to it I will do measurements but this is just to sort of see what it's going to look like. So then we've got the zipper and It'll be kind of like that, holding in this padded pocket. I think it'll be good. Just need to make sure it hits the right place so that I can still lean over because I feel like that could be kind of a problem if I'm gardening and I'm sort of like... <laughs> so I think I'm going to move the belt part down a little bit because it was sort of making it difficult to lean over, and this is more like the fanny pack that I'm used to. This is the tentative tie, although it's going to look a whole lot nicer when I'm finished with it. So I am now planning out the apron, and I've got some potential pockets over here that I'm looking at. I've got my keys in the little bag so they don't mess up any of the fabric before I have it all, you know, padded out and planned. And I've got the calculator that stands in for my phone in this pocket with its zipper and a little rag to wipe my hands off on in this pocket. So now I'm going to pin this top part on just to sort of get an idea of what I'm aiming for. And then hopefully I'll be able to take it off here, or maybe I'll add the straps on too, and then sort of put it on my own self and see if there's anything that needs to be changed. Because obviously my duct tape mannequin cannot tell me if it's comfortable, and that's kind of important information to find out. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. I always like seeing what it actually ends up looking like because when I'm working on it, it looks like a mess. So I'm trying to figure out how big I actually want these pockets to be and it's a little bit difficult because I still want the pockets to be on the nice part of the fabric and not the part that's definitely washed out and terrible. I am most certainly going to be using nearly all of this fabric, which is great because you know, that's kind of what the purpose of this project is, to make something useful out of something that I just have lying around that can't be used anymore. So I'm excited. I think I have figured out how big I want the pockets. I was gonna make them a little bit smaller than I thought, but I want my hands to fit in them. I am going to get to work and use my chalk to mark out how big I think that they should be. across seems like a pretty good amount for a pocket. I think it sounds good. Oh man, I will never get over just how much measuring sewing takes. It's an exercise in math. Yay, math! It has to be useful. Also kind of aesthetic because, you know, that's what we want in life. But I'm trying to get rid of my perfectionism. I try to do everything absolutely perfectly and just get every little detail exactly by the millimeter <laughs> where it needs to be. But I don't need that. This is a gardening apron. It's gonna get dirty. It's gonna get messy. We're gonna go and be rough and tumble in the dirt and 
sticking vegetables in our pockets and rocks. It doesn't have to be the most beautiful, pristine thing ever. It just needs to be. And I need to remember that. Am I about to burst into Isabella's song from Encanto? What else can I do? Perfectionism. It's kind of hard to deal with sometimes. Especially when you're your own worst enemy. <laughs> so here's what I have so far. I have got the pockets that you already saw. I've added a tentative pocket up here. What will I put in it? I have no idea. I've got some pockets on the side. A big pocket for, you know, regular daily harvesting. Over here and another side pocket. And I will add some loops in between them to hold other tools or whatever else might be able to fit in there. This is pretty much what I want it to look like. You know, obviously the sewing will improve it a lot, but I think it's pretty magical. Let's untie this and see if it's stuck to <laughs> the dress form. Mm. Ah, oh. let's try to put it on. Oh goodness, it's very confusing. And I'm probably going to be stabbed several times by various different pins. So that will be fun. Okay, ow, ow, yep. Already successful in that prediction. All right, so stick it over and put my arms. That's just to make sure it doesn't fall off when I'm doing all that hardcore gardening. If it happens to get untied by something. Alright, and then let's tie it up. So, definitely looking a little rough, but I think it is on its way. It's a little longer than I was planning to have it, but. I think I need that space for all the pockets. And let's see, yep, perfect hand placement for these pockets. Good placement. Let's stick a calculator in there. Let's see. All right. Leaning over. Ah, oh, yeah. I can't even feel it, so that's actually perfect. I'm glad I moved it around a little bit. All I have to do now is measure it at the back parts because, you know, we want it to be a full little skirt thing. It'll be like my gardening dress. I'm going to be dressed for a special occasion every time I go out and see my plants. It's still not touching the ground when I do this, so... Excellent! All right. Let me start working on the finishing touches and actually get it pinned correctly then. <laughs> but I think this is gonna work. To keep my phone safe inside of the pocket, I will be using a piece of an old bed cover. You know, one of those padded bed covers. They make excellent padding for just about anything else. I've used some of it to pad out my duct tape dress form. And now it's gonna keep my phone safe and add any other padding that I want. I love reusing everything that I have. It's just, it's such a good feeling to be able to put that stuff that you know would usually go straight into the trash back into use. Let's get to sewing. And here we are. I've sewn all of the little pocket pieces on the top and bottom, and also the straps. And I ironed them too. You know, good sewing habits. I'm trying to keep that up. This pocket, I'm really proud of it because I'm not hugely an expert at putting in zippers just yet, but this seems to have worked out all right. And I've got this pocket here. I decided to add some pleats so it sort of opens up a little bit so I can actually stick things in there that aren't flat. And then got the side pockets that are a little bit more flat, or will be once they're sewn on. Now this pocket kind of finished it, but I'm not sure I love it there. It was gonna be kind of a cute overall sort of deal, but 
I think I may like the whole thing better without it. And we don't have to be married to our original designs. I always have to remind myself of that. It's okay to make changes. And I think I might make a change here. So I'll play around with it and see. I did figure out how to add the piping all the way around it, which is pretty cool. But maybe we'll use that pocket for something else later. Well, we'll see. Just gotta do some experimenting. But I'm gonna take it back off here. I think I wanna lower it down a little bit, make it look right, and figure out how I want to arrange all the panels, especially for the back, because that is not completed in any sort of way. <laughs> and yeah, I will check back with you in a little bit. So now I'm gonna iron smoke this. It's definitely not perfect. I have done some weird quirky sewing on some of the curves, but you know what? It's okay. Perfection's not the goal. I just need it to be good enough. So this is how it's looking so far. I've got these loops here that are gonna hold my keys and anything else that might hang from loops. I'll be using up really as much of this couch cover as possible because my goal is to be rather zero waste with it all. So now I've sewed the loop in and I've done a very rough zigzag stitch in a few of the places where you shouldn't see they're going to be inside the garment in the hem and that's to keep them from fraying and also keep them together because it's kind of hard with all these pins to really remember what goes where and to make sure that things don't fall out and get lost by the wayside. You know, all the little bits. It's hard to keep track of, but I think it's going well. So I've begun to actually sew on the little decorative stitches. I'm just gonna continue sewing in these pockets with the decorative stitch and we've got the loop here. Hope it's big enough. I thought about putting elastic into it, but I'd already cut the loop, so... Oops. <laughs> but I think it'll be fine, you know. I just wanna have space to put like maybe some scissors or other cutters or just whatever sort of tools I need. You know, options. We're going over some thick stuff now. There's way too many layers here, so I may do some hand sewing. <laughs> you know, hand sewing by machine. Neat little stitches, but still you're in total control. I can get it. It's alright. You know, I like it. I'm a fan. I just really love how these have turned out. So now I'm trying to figure out how long I want the bodice to be. I think I'm gonna go for this blue line right here. I originally had it down here, but it feels right up here, I think. So, I don't know. I did sew on the straps and I'm regretting that a little bit because they're super loose back here. But I also want it to be easy to get on, so I have a lot of mixed feelings now. This is why it takes forever to do anything. Uh, you get somewhere and then you're like, but could it be better? And the answer is almost always yes. Uh, always a war between perfectionism and just getting it done. Let's hope I can get it done. So here's what I'm thinking now. I've moved the pocket from the middle back up onto my stomach because I actually found that I can lean over better if the whole thing is higher up and just this part is down here and my hands fit better in the pockets too. So that's always good. But honestly, yeah, it's just gonna be hit or miss at this point. There's just so many different 
moving pieces and it's a puzzle. It's basically a puzzle. Why did I have to make it so much more complicated than it needed to be? I know that's a part of me, but come on. Why every time? Every time. But I think we have almost got it. Makes sense why the pocket wasn't working up here though. It just wouldn't look right, especially with everything pushed up like this. But you know, what's most important is that it actually works for what I need it for. I mean, sure, I want it to be cute, but utility, then cuteness. I think I'm well on my way. It's gonna work. And here is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's got all the pockets that I need. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna go put my phone in my pocket. Perfect. And now I have the perfect place to stick my keys. When I'm going out adventuring, I can just clip them right here and they're nice and safe and I can do all sorts of movements and it doesn't matter. <laughs> to put on. Just gotta put my arm through the loops. And see it's already on so if it gets untied I don't really have to worry about it even. But of course if we want it to look absolutely perfect we'll just tie it around like that. Excellent! <sighs> it is the apron dress of absolute dreams. I cannot believe that it actually worked out. I've been so nervous about getting started on this project for so long. And you know, I put off things that I'm nervous about, so I never really got to it, but this is what happens when you actually go for it. I'm just so excited that I could use up so much of that couch cover and give it a new life. It inspires me to try to keep making the things that I dream of because sometimes they work out. And that's a wonderful feeling. I think all the different pocket options are gonna be super helpful for when I'm harvesting or just picking up cool things or holding things temporarily. I can put little tools in these loops. And of course, my phone pocket, which is fully padded and lined. I think it'll keep my phone nice and safe. I'm just absolutely in love with how this worked. I've already actually used it a few times when I've gone outside and it's just so convenient. It's basically like wearing a purse on my body, but it doesn't get in the way when I'm actually trying to move and garden and kneel and crawl around and <laughs> dig and all those sorts of gardening things. Uh, it's just, very convenient. And I feel like I can talk to the neighbors too without feeling kind of awkward in, you know, a junky outfit that I'm just doing outdoor messy stuff in. I'll actually have a dedicated, cute little look to make my gardening dreams happen. Honestly, it feels so cottagecore. <laughs> I think my cottagecore dreams are really fulfilled with this apron dress. There's nothing that beats usefulness, cuteness, and comfort. I think next time when I make an apron like this, because I plan to make some for cooking and for like building things, sort of a tool belt thing, I'm gonna take the lessons I learned from making this one and hopefully make my new ones even better. But this is definitely, definitely going to be a wonderful addition to my closet. Something I will actually put to use at least once a week, really. So that's awesome. So how about you? Would you make something like this? Would you add a lot of pockets too? Let me know down in the comments. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it if you'd add a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more videos like this about sewing and thrifting, growing plants, and saving things, all with a witchy spin. I will be back next week with a brand new video, so see you soon. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever old scraps of fabric you have, especially couch covers. Be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. Are you filming? Yes, my finger's up. Okay. This is what happens when you wear tights and start sewing.